Hello. In this lecture, I will try to answer the question, is the universe infinite? Uh, first of all, I will explain what is uh, the universe. The universe uh, is all of uh, space and time, and they are contents, uh, including uh, planets, stars, galaxies, and all other forms of matter and energy. The Big Bang Theory is the prevailing cosmological uh, description of the development of the universe. According to this theory, space and time emerged uh, together 13.8 billion years ago and then the universe has been expanding ever since the Big Bang. While the spatial uh, size of the entire uh, universe is unknown, it is possible to measure the size of the observable universe, which is uh, approximately 93 billion light years in diameter at the present day. It is impossible to know for sure if the universe is truly infinite. The observable universe is definitely finite. It is that part of the universe uh, which is uh, within uh, 13.8 billion light years uh, of us. The number 13.8 is because it has uh, been 13.8 billion years since the Big Bang, so any part of the universe that is more than 13.8 billion light years away from us will not be visible or, obser or, or observable since the light from those areas cannot have reached us by now. Cosmo cosmologists assume that uh, there is a significant part of the universe that is outside of our observable portion of the universe, but it is impossible to say for sure that it is infinite. <coughs> The standard cosmological assumption is that the universe is homogeneous and uh, isotropic. It has no privilege or unique uh, point. This assumption seems to be correct and is confirmed in our observable universe. The universe looks the same in all directions and on a large enough scale, the universe seems to be homogeneous. Uh, if the portion of the universe uh, that is not observable is also isotropic and homogeneous, then it could uh, be that the universe is truly infinite. One piece of information that is in, uh, needed to determine if the universe is infinite or not, is to know the curvature of the universe. There are three different regimes of uh, curvature. It could uh, have a positive curvature, which is like a two-dimensional curvature of the surface of, of a sphere. Uh, like uh, the the one that uh, you can see in the picture above, uh, the spear that can uh, you can see in the picture, and uh, uh, that is to say the universe. Uh, uh, closes in world and it is finite. Or other possibility is zero curvature, which is like a flat plane. Uh, the 
the bottom picture of a flat plane, then the universe is infinite, uh, then the universe is not closed but infinite, or negative curvature, which is like the curvature of the surface of the saddle, it is in the middle of the picture, it is like a saddle. Uh, then the universe is not closed at all and it is infinite. If the universe is isotropic and uh, homogeneous and the curvature of the universe has a constant positive value, then the universe uh, will be finite, like the sphere. Just as the surface of sphere is finite like the sphere. On the other end, if the curvature of the universe is a constant zero, it will be like the plane here, or a constant uh, uh, negative curvature, then it will be like the saddle, that is infinite uh, the universe. That is to say, the universe opens outwards and never closes, like the saddle. Yes, the universe would be truly infinite. Yes, if the universe is like the saddle, then it uh, will never uh, be closed and it is, uh, the universe is uh, infinite. Or, or, or uh, of course, if the universe is uh, uh, a flat, then uh, the, the universe is also infinite. Do we have uh, any measurements of the amount of curvature that the universe has? Uh, yes, there is. The standard model of cosmology, which successfully fits all well-measured cosmological information, as a parameter total omega which is related to the curvature. If uh, total omega is greater than 1, you see that in this case total omega is greater than 1, then the universe is uh, positively curved and it is also of course closed. If it is uh, total omega is uh, exactly one, like uh, the flat uh, plane. Uh, the universe is flat and if uh, the value of total omega is less than one, the universe is negatively curved. Like in the middle, it is like a saddle when omega is less than 1. And, uh, and of course the universe will be infinite. The best measured uh, value of total omega is uh, uh, 1.00 plus, plus minus uh, 0 0.12. Okay? If uh, total omega equals to 1 plus 0 0.12 that equals to 1.12 uh, that is uh, to say total omega is greater than 1 then the curvature of the universe is positive and the universe is in the shape of a sphere and the universe is closed. So if total omega is greater than 1, it is, it is uh, the universe is in the shape of sphere and the universe is closed. Uh, if total omega equals to 1 uh, minus uh, 0 0.12 that equals to 0 0.88 then uh, 
that is to say total omega equals to 0.88 that is less than 1 then the, uh, the curvature of the universe is negative then the universe is in the shape of a saddle yes the universe when omega total omega is less than 1 then the shape of the universe is like a saddle and the universe is infinite okay so obviously uh, you could encompass uh, everything from uh, positive to zero to negative curvature so there is no definitive answer at this point but the universe is consistent with every zero curvature because uh, omega is between um, uh, 0 0.88 uh, to 1.12 uh, that is uh, close to 1 okay so we really don't know if the universe is infinite at this uh, point but since the value is so close to flat even if the universe is positively curved and finite it would definitely be much much bigger than the observable universe so we can summarize uh, that uh, the size of the universe beyond the observable universe is unknown since it cannot be observed at the moment uh, we don't even know if it is finite uh, or infinite but there are speculative estimates by theoretical physicists uh, who say that the size of the universe beyond the observable universe should be at least 250 times larger than the observable universe other estimates speak of a universe whose size is even inconceivably larger even if still finite okay thank you very much